Hi, Vern Warnke, Sheriff Coroner for Merced County. This video explains the deputy involved shooting that occurred on Saturday, April 29th, 2023 in Winton, California. We believe in being transparent with our community and we wanted to share the details of this incident as soon as we could. We take every use of force very seriously. Under Sheriff Corey Gibson is going to give a detailed account of the events that resulted in this shooting. The following video contains graphic images that may be disturbing to some viewers, so viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Under Sheriff Corey Gibson. I will be sharing the events that took place during the deputy involved shooting that occurred on Saturday, April 29th, 2023. We would like to remind you that this incident is an active criminal and administrative investigation where the use of force is being reviewed. At approximately 1 p.m., deputies received information about potential gang members with firearms in the area of Winton Cemetery. When Deputy Nasir Wally arrived on scene, he saw several subjects running out of the cemetery and getting into a vehicle. Deputy Wally attempted to stop the vehicle, however, the vehicle failed to stop and began a pursuit through Winton. Deputy Lucy Lopez joined the pursuit, which lasted approximately three and a half minutes. The vehicle crashed into a parked car at the corner of Susie Street and Walnut Avenue in Winton at 1.14 p.m. Mercy 500 Lake Bill. Multiple people got out of the car and started running, including the suspect identified as Jonathan Daniel Diaz Duarte. Deputy Wally gave chase as Diaz Duarte ran through the apartments near the crash scene. During the chase, Deputy Wally lost sight of him as he ran back towards Susie Street, but could see that he was carrying what looked like an AR-15 rifle. Hey, stop! Stop now! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Mercy, if I won't be up too late, girl, one's running with the AR-15. Deputy Lopez arrived on scene seconds after Deputy Wally. She saw Diaz Doherty running away from the apartments and headed north on Susie Street. She then chased him to an empty lot just north of the apartments. It appeared the suspect tripped and fell as Deputy Lopez got close to him. He then pointed the gun back towards Deputy Lopez and fired one round, striking her in the left ear. She then returned fire with her department-issued duty pistol, striking Diaz Doherty three times. Stop right there! Stop! Drop the gun! Drop it! Mercy 27, I'm here. We have slowed down the video so you can see Diaz Doherty clearly point the gun behind him towards Deputy Lopez and fire one shot. Deputy Wally heard the gunshots and got back into his patrol vehicle and rushed to the empty lot. When he arrived, he assessed Deputy Lopez and her injuries. He then requested additional personnel to assist at the scene. Deputy Wally then began providing medical aid to Diaz Duarte, and shortly after, paramedics arrived and took over life-saving efforts. Deputy Lopez was taken to a local area hospital for treatment. Unfortunately, Diaz Duarte was pronounced dead at scene. Mercy at five when shot fired. Mercy 
Or say five when shots fire. You good? Two sevens hit, Merced. Start 1141. Where you hit? Right here. Deputy Lopez sustained one gunshot wound to the left ear and gunpowder burns to her left cheek. The bullet also broke the back of her sunglasses. This shows how close the bullet came to potentially ending her life. Deputy Lopez received treatment and is expected to make a full recovery. Diaz Duarte used an AR-15 platform rifle with no stock, which makes it easier to conceal. The caliber of this rifle is .223, which can pierce law enforcement body armor. He is also known to be associated with criminal street gangs. The Merced County Sheriff's Office is committed to keeping our community safe. I'd like to thank everyone for the outpouring of support we've received over the last month. I'd also like to thank the various allied agencies who helped with this investigation, as well as the first responders who rendered aid to Deputy Lopez and Diaz Dori. Those agencies include the California Department of Justice, California Highway Patrol, Merced Police Department, Riggs Ambulance Service, and Mercy Medical Center Merced. Thank you for watching.